All right, guys, today I am in Bradenton, Florida. I came to a mall called DeSoto Mall, which is absolutely a dead mall. Look at this, the old JCPenney's over here. They got the gates up, the label scar up there, and there's another label scar up here, too, if you can see it there. Been driving around this mall, and there is, like, no markings for what anything is. I know that part of it was a Sears at one point, and it has become a storage facility. But we're going to try to find a way to get in here. I think they're open. So we're going to go on the inside, see if we can walk around and film a little bit, and I can show you what it looks like in here. Yeah, guys, you can see before we even walk in how empty this mall is. I thought maybe this was the food court since it's so wide open, but it's not. Look at this. We've got Hudson's Furniture and Mattresses right up here on the left. And street scenes over here. This reminds me of Canton Center Mall right before the last place left. I can't think right offhand what it was called, but the last store right at the end was a store just like this. Look, we got T-Mobile. And then it begins. Everything is empty and closed all the way down. I believe this used to be a Sears, but I'm not sure. The, the label scar is covered up there. I don't know what any of these places are, but let's take a look in here a minute. Yeah, there's just nothing in any of these stores. It's always so amazing to see these empty stores and a dead mall. Oh, that was a theater, I think. Hold on a second. Yep, this reminds me of Canton Center a lot, guys. Wow, amazing. Let's look at that uh, theater over here. How cool is this? Holy crap. Now playing and there's nothing there. I gotta take a picture of that. Looks like there's just Christmas stuff stored in there right now. But yeah, this definitely used to be a theater. I'd love to see what it looks like in there. Pretty amazing through here. Legends and Sports. That's one of the only open places. You can see stuff falling from the ceilings in these stores. I don't want to be too, uh, too open about filming in here because you never know. But look, this used to be some kind of a restaurant here. That's obvious. Mall security right there. We got a jewelry store over here, and I guarantee this used to be a jewelry store also. Oh look, they're all decorated for Christmas. <laughs> Ooh, look at this giant skylight, that is cool. All right, we're gonna go down all these halls, but yeah, look, this used to be a, a jewelry store, I'm sure, because that's usually what's on the corners. Perfume collection. All this is empty down here. Yep, look at these long, empty halls, guys. Pretty amazing. And they got whatever this was covered up with black paper or plastic up there. Empty kiosk over here. They got a dress store. I uh, can't imagine they do very much business. DKDA, another women's clothing store, Christian store. Gentleman's Choice store right there. Look at this is totally empty here. Let's look in here a minute. Yeah, look at this. This was a giant arcade. Look at this laser tag over there. This one may have actually closed down because of COVID. You just never know right now. But it's pretty amazing to see it empty like that. Look at this, guys. This is just crazy. All these little off-brand stores in here. Jenny's Beauty Plus, Jenny's. Or they do have a Journey's down here. Foot action over here. Browning's, whatever that is. Probably just another uh, jewelry store. And here's an empty one here on the corner. Pretty amazing. Look at this whole end here, guys. Nothing in the whole end here. There's where JCPenney's was right there. But this is all empty all down here. There's some guys in that one. But look at this, this was Penny's right here. Look at that skylight. Pretty cool. See if we can get away with looking in here real quick. 
Look at that, empty JC pennies. Huh. It is just so amazing to see a place like this just empty. Everything closed. Look at this, Ocean Nails and Spa is closed. Yeah, this is Browning's Jewelry over here. Yep, down this way too, guys. Everything's closed. Look at this. This must have been a little clothing store or something. Empire. Maybe it was a barber shop. Look, they got the barber shop art up on the walls. Apparently, this was an arcade over here. That's a pretty cool glass block wall, though. I like that. And I don't know if this was a restaurant or something, but let's see if we can peek in here. Yeah, that's the best we can see. Apparently not a restaurant, but we'll head back down this way, guys. Look how long and empty and barren these hallways are. Just a few random people walking through. I have no idea how any of these stores survive. This is crazy. Look at this, guys. This is kind of cool. A directory with nothing on it. That's pretty amazing. Look at this. The lone carousel with no children to have fun. Sorry, Mr. Train. Look at this, guys. Are you surprised that there is a Bath and Body Works in here? <laughs> More lone toys where no children will be riding. Look, we got a bull here. Boy, am I tempted. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Everything is empty. I don't think so. I don't know if this was a Spencer's or what this was, guys, but it's very familiar. So if you know what it was, let me know. I just can't remember right now. Look inside. I don't know what that one was either, but look, it's just everything's empty. Looks like they have part of the mall blocked off down here so you can't go any farther. And, okay, I had read online that part of this mall used to be a Sears and that it was made into a, uh, a big storage place. I may have already said that in this video, I don't remember. But um, that may have been the Sears straight up there. I'm not sure. I don't know what any of this stuff was. And there's no markings on the building outside. It's really weird. But oh look, this is the food court. Holy crap. I'm loving this. Yep, look at this. Here's a store called Street Scenes, but I don't even know if it's open. Yeah, it's got an open sign. Eyebrow threading over there. Toys where children will no longer play. <laughs> Yeah, that's the blocked off end down there. Guatemalan restaurant, all those closed stores down there. Look at this, one restaurant open in the whole food court right there with China Max. That's it, guys. That is it. That's all that's open. Look at the woodwork on this one. It looks like a log cabin. If anybody knows what any of these were, let me know because this is, this is pretty amazing. I absolutely love a dead mall. Amazing. Just just look at it. It's empty all the way down. You can just see two people clear down at the end there. And we're back to this end, guys. All right, guys, so that was DeSoto Square Mall here in uh, Bradenton, Florida. This place is absolutely enormous. I believe that was the Sears down there that became a storage facility. Here's Hudson's Furniture. Um, yeah, goes all the way down here. JCPenney's way down here. Absolutely huge place. I would have loved to spend a lot more time in there. Just take my time and get really good shots. Look inside a lot of the empty stores. But I didn't want to draw any attention to myself that I was actually in there filming. I did see a couple of security. They didn't seem to care what anybody was doing. But, you know, I wanted to make it through the whole mall and show you all the halls and everything um, without causing any problems. So, yeah, pretty cool to see that. Dead malls are something that are absolutely amazing, especially if you're one that used to shop in them when they were just hustling and bustling. Crazy.